All right, so we've got five twelfths plus three eighths. Um, and we're adding fractions. We're getting the lowest common denominator. The trick is, in this case, is not to actually multiply by 8 over 8 and 12 over 12. The, the trick actually is to factorize first of all, right? So you might think about four times tables, and you might think, well, because a 4 goes into both of these. It's the highest common multiple, let's say. So, like, 4 times 2 gives 8, and 4 times 3 gives 12, right? And that just makes it a, this is just, this step is going to make it just a little bit easier to find the lowest common uh, denominator, right? So, so now we, we try to multiply these fractions by, by something down here to make both of the bottoms the same. So we got a 4 times a 3 and then times something so that it's the same as a 4 times 2 times something. So I'll just let you guys uh, get, ask me questions on that, or is that is that making sense, or do you, are, are you get you guys following along? Yeah, that makes it a lot easier. Because then you would just multiply four times two times three. Right. Right. And right. then go four times three times two. Right. Exactly. Right. So we got a. So basically, if I stick a 2 here and a 3 here, then both of the bottoms are the same, right? Does that make sense, Blake? Or? Yeah, yeah. Cool. Sense. And I, I've got to multiply this fraction by actually 2 over 2 because i got to make it the same quantity. You can't just multiply the bottom by 2. It'll just change the, the, val the, change the value of it completely. And this guy needs to be multiplied by not just 3 on the bottom, but 3 on the top as well. So we end up with 5 times 2, 10. 2 times 4 is 8 times 3. Is that. And over here in the top, 3 times 3 is 9. 4 times 2 is 8 times 3. We have that. So we ended up with finding that 20 fourths. 24 is the lowest common denominator, right? That makes sense? Yeah. yeah. And so now we have 24 of the same type of fraction. We can just add them together, 10 and 9, 19. So 19 24 is the answer. Now, the other way of doing this, some students like, is they list the multiples of 12 and then the multiples of 8. So we've got 12, 24, 36, 48. And if you list multiples of 8, you get 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, and so on. Now, the lowest common denominator or the lowest common multiple is what we're looking for. We're looking for the first number that, that is common to both, right? And that is 24. Can you guys see that? Yeah. Right? Now, 48 is also common to both. It's just not the lowest common multiple, right? So we would have tried, so this is another way of saying, okay, um, we want to turn the 12ths into 24ths, so we'd multiply by 2. Or we want to turn the 8ths into 24ths, so we multiply by 3. So this is kind of another way of doing it. And the common error on this one, by the way, everybody, is to do this, to just treat it like the other fractions we did, multiply this by 12 over 12, and this by 8 over 8. This is not incorrect, it's just a big pain because now you have 40 and 8 times 12 is uh, 96. You got 40 96 plus 36 96. So that's 76 96, which is not wrong. It's just it's going to take a while to break that down because you got to go 2 into 7 goes uh, 3 times, remainder 1, 2 into 16 is 8, 2 into 9 goes 4 times, remainder 1, 2 into 16 goes 8 times, so that's 38 over 48. And 2 into that gives 19, and 2 into that gives 24. And so we finally get 19 24 which is what we should have got here. But, but see how if we just go 8 over 8 and 12 over 12, we're giving ourselves a lot of work to do, right? So what we want to do is find the lowest common denominator, right? Does that make sense there? I know I wrote, yeah. I wrote, 